welcome to the test prep card channel hope all of you are doing good in your life and today we are back with a very interesting video again and this is going to be on the topic vit triple e examination and we will be basically focusing on the various nri related topics uh, for vit triple e examination and the topics which will be covering include the brief introduction of what is vit triple e exam what are what is the nri quota in vit triple e uh, what are the certificates required for nris uh, what is the nri eligibility uh, what are the different different courses offered by vit colleges and at last we will be discussing about the fee structure for nri students in vit triple e uh, colleges so, so let us start the brief introduction of vit triple e so vit triple e stands for vellore institute of technology engineering entrance examination so as the name suggests uh, it is generally a entrance test conducted for four specific colleges which are vit vellore vit chennai vit bhopal and vit andhra pradesh which is in amravati so it is generally conducted for the undergraduate courses generally btech courses uh, for these four colleges and every year about 2 lakh aspirants sit in the examination for the about 5 to 6000 seats in all the four colleges okay now let us move to the nri quota in vit triple e so uh, nri or pio candidates can apply for the vit triple e examination along with the indian candidates but there is no such specific reservation for nri or pio candidates though they are to be uh, seated in the nri seats but they are not particularly seats reserved for nris they will be fighting as uh, the other candidates as uh, the general candidates which are fighting uh, but Uh, they should present some of the certificates to get admission and the certificates include they should have their passport their parents passport the visa of the sponsor means uh, their uh, mother or father whosoever is working in overseas and the other thing is their 12th mark sheet or grade sheet and some other certificates are also required sometimes so you can get uh, more information about that in the official website of vit triple e so these are all about the certificate which is required for the admission into vit colleges now let us move to the nri eligibility in vit triple e examination so what are, what is the eligibility factors how a candidate is eligible to apply or to eligible to take admission so the first thing is the academic eligibility and the academic eligibility for an nri candidate is that english should be a compulsory subject in your class 12th with physics and maths also as compulsory subject and one optional subject from chemistry biology biotechnology computer science or electronics so these five are optional from these five one subject should be there so uh, the other thing is that you should have passed your class 12th with a minimum of 60% in pcm pcm means physics chemistry and maths but uh, not chemistry means uh, whatever optional subject you are having from those five which i have told you earlier that will be counted here and the minimum aggregate should be 60% for the general candidate so this is all about the academic eligibility now what is the age limit so uh, like this video we are making in the year 2021 so so you should be uh, born after july 1999 for applying in 2021 so same uh, follows for 2022 2023 when so where you are watching the uh, video now let us move to the different different courses which are offered by vit triple e colleges vit triple e four colleges uh, so the basic btech courses uh, include biotechnology civil engineering chemical engineering computer science engineering and there are various specialization in computer science engineering like information security uh, mechanical engineering uh, so there are some of the specialization in mechanical engineering also like automotive engineering uh, the other is electrical engineering electronics and communication engineering and the last one is production and industrial engineering so these are the basic btech courses which are provided by the Uh, vit triple e colleges uh, there are some other courses also like uh, bachelor of architecture bachelor of planning uh, but the major btech courses are uh, these only okay before moving ahead in the video let me tell you about the nri e book prepared by test prep card especially for the nri or pio candidates and you can download it from the link given in the description section of this video and it is going to be really very helpful so after watching the video go to the description and consider downloading it now let us move to the last topic of our video which is the fee structure for nri candidates in vit triple e colleges so uh, there are two uh, sections uh, divided for the fees for nri candidates first one is group a and second one is group b group a includes the branches the streams like biotechnology 
सिविल इंजीनियरिंग केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो दीज आर द ब्रांचेज विच आर इन ग्रुप वन एंड द फीस फॉर दिस ग्रुप ए इज Uh, eight thousand five hundred dollars as the uh, per year tuition fee and hundred dollars as caution fee, which is refundable and one time payment. Means eight thousand six hundred dollars is the total fee for an R I candidate for this Group A streams. Group B includes mechanical engineering, the specialization in mechanical engineering, computer science engineering, the specialization in computer science engineering, uh, electronics and communication engineering. So these are the streams which are in. Group B and the fees for Group B is a ten thousand dollars and the hundred dollars is caution fee which is refundable. So the total fee for uh, one year is ten thousand one hundred dollar. So this is the per year fee for an R I candidates in VIT Triple E colleges. So hope this is clear to you and if you like the video then do like. Uh, for more such con content consider subscribing the channel and if you have any doubt regarding VIT Triple E uh, so. do comment and you can also contact us through the link given in the description section of this video